Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today it's all about the Sony Ericsson W350i. A review of course because I already did an unboxing right there. And uh, in this video I'm gonna tell you everything about it. Like playing with it, using it as an mp3 player which is pretty awesome. The sound quality etc. So let's not waste any more time and get into it. And here it is pretty slick <laughs> so on the front we have the Sony Ericsson logo and the Walkman logo the earpiece the display well I guess this is the light sensor and the Walkman media player buttons like the previous next play pause and these are up and down basically you select them in the Walkman menu you'll see when you open it and here we have the phone buttons the function buttons well, this is like a, um, see when I'm pressing these buttons, see how this thing uh, goes, you're basically pressing these buttons with it when it's closed. Yeah, on the left side we have the Walkman button, the charging port and or data port on the bottom, nothing. On the right side, the volume buttons. On the top side we have the lock unlock. This is for when you have this thing closed. Uh, when you close this, the phone is constantly with the media player on the screen because yeah that's his job here you can put a wrist strap or a necklace strap I guess the camera which is a 1.3 megapixel camera again this phone's main focus was music Sony Ericsson and Walkman logo and the loudspeaker and the Sony Ericsson emblem right to open it up we have here where you can stick the nail and pull something like that yeah the email sticker memory card slot which is a m2 memory card let me plug that in right now which is also a sony card let's open it and put it in and here you can put the slim card the here you put the sim card <laughs> slim card oh my god the battery well I think it uh, yeah I think it should have the thicker battery I don't know this is the BST 36 to put it back in shove it here press it on the clamps yeah okay let's turn it off The buttons light it up. Sorry, it's in Romanian, my native language, so I don't think you can understand anything, so I'll just change the language to English. Should be fast. There we go. So, oh, this is the back here. So this is how it looks. Signal strength, battery, animated wallpaper, calls, oops, and the menu. This is the menu. This is where you have the fun stuff. You can navigate the internet as well for a dumb phone, basically. Yeah, in Music DJ you can compose your own music, but not something too fancy, something which already has here. This is the camera, which again is not something too... Wow, well, it's a 1.2 megapixel camera. Hang on a second. Okay, bragging time. I also have one brand new in the box, the purple one. Let me take a sample picture of it. I think I might have moved a bit. Just to be sure. Steady hands. Okay. This thing uh, came in multiple colors. 
Yeah, let me show you when I close this. Walkman menu, baby. So this is black and uh, orange. This is black and purple. This thing becomes sticky after a while and that's why I put it in a uh, tissue. This thing was also sticky, but uh, in this uh, right part, here or here, right? I think here, this is where you'll find uh, the video where I made this one function a lot of multiple other phones. And it also comes in this uh, baby blue version or blue. Technical specifications. This phone was released in 2008. It accepts memory card up to 4 gigabytes uh, memory and uh, in the box it should have a 512 megabytes uh, card included. The screen is uh, 1.9 inches basically. <laughs> 176 by 220 pixels. A lot, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it, like I said, the camera is 1.3 megapixel and uh, oh, Google search, no. It has the MP3 player, the, it's a Walkman. It doesn't have any audio jack, only the standard Sony Ericsson connector for that time. It also has a track ID music recognition, basically a Shazam of the time. Photo editor, organizer, voice memo. This phone was around 70 euros, according to GSM Arena. Like I said, it wasn't that expensive. It's basically the standard Sony Ericsson uh, OS at the time. Yes, for the radio you need to insert the hands free. Yeah. You can enter the Walkman menu from here, from the menu, or from this button, the dedicated Walkman. If you press the volume buttons while in standby, it gives you the phone details. Yeah, this number is not available, so don't try. Right, now let's listen to some music. See, and from up and down I'm selecting the music. If I press the Walkman, it gets me to the home. The, the main menu from the Walkman. Jim Yosef rules. Is this loud? Let me put the microphone. Also you, can also you can control the Walkman, uh, the music, from these buttons as well. cool kids this is what you could do this phone is cool and all that but you know what would make it cooler some speakers walkman speakers baby i'm curious to see actually the volume This is so loud. Man, the quality. <laughs> okay, yeah, there, okay, this is too awesome. Next. Would be awesome if you had even some of these bad boys.
Let me crack it open. Ha. Because with these, so we have this connector for here. You can also ta -da, unplug it from here and put it in an audio jack and a speaker. As a matter of fact, I'll be right back. Let's see how it handles 2023 technology. In a yep. I think it handles it pretty good. <laughs> right. Right, so this is my review. Well, this is what you would call a dumb phone, but as an MP3 player, it does its job pretty dang well. So the Ericsson knew what they were doing with the Walkman series. Yeah. Well, this is my review of this. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And I wish you a very awesome day, just like yourself, and all the best. Bye.